Welcome back inside Fisher Stadium. It was homecoming today and senior day here, but the Lafayette Leopards couldn't pull it out one final time for their seniors on Fisher Field here. Final score, Holy Cross 24-14. I'm Matt Province. We have Phil Ling and Maurice Bennett as we begin the postgame show presented by the Maroon Club. Remember, every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. Uh, Maurice, it seems like on defense, it was tough to stop the running game of the Crusaders. What makes that read option with a good quarterback like Puyol so difficult to defend? It's, it's really hard to defend and now that the Leopards are running this 4-2-5 defense you know just keep in mind they don't have a true Sam linebacker in the game so a little bit weak up the middle you you would expect to have some speed on the outside they just couldn't get the combination right tonight. Yeah you got to give credit to the Crusaders who recognized this and kept it going and to talk a little bit more about the game what's going out of the field John Leone has the head coach Frank Tavani. Thank you, Matt. Uh, Coach, you know, this team comes in, they're 2-6. and six. They lost five in a row. They're a much better football team than that, and they showed it this afternoon. Well, we certainly were aware of that. I said all along, I watched them on film, and, you know, lost a lot of close games. They come in with a good game plan, played well. They basically dominated us in the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball pretty much the whole game. Got some momentum there. We needed to come out and score in the second half, which I said, you know, I wanted to do it. We did it. And then, uh, you know, then you got to come back and do that. And we couldn't get stops most of the day. They drove the field, used a lot of time. Our defense is on, on the field for a lot of plays and really, you know, at, 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 the, at their own doing. So uh, we, we got to get a lot better quickly. We got three games to play. Uh, there's still a winning season on the line here and send our seniors out the three straight wins. And that'll be the focus. You know, Frank, I was only half joking at the uh, beginning of the second half when you guys came out with a completely different energy that maybe the team got the wrong game time. I mean, you know, th there was just no energy. You're looking for that mojo in the first half. It was a it was a sudden turnaround in the second half, but again, you couldn't sustain it. Well, it's there in the locker room, I see it, but apparently it doesn't uh, translate over onto the field. I, you know, we were flat. I, I don't know. I, I got to take the blame for that. Obviously, I got to figure out why that is. Uh, look at the way we're preparing. We, you know, we're banged up. We're we're sifting people in and out of there. It's a it's a tough go, but we got to overcome those things. And we certainly had our opportunities, uh, you know, in that game, and, and you know, certainly didn't do it into their credit. You know, Frank. Uh, again, you and I've been around here a long, long time. Maybe it, too long. It, well, no, no. <laughs> but you know, you, you, it's hard not to look forward to November 22nd. But you got a tough one in Lewisburg. You got a tough one up in Hamilton, and it'll mean a whole lot getting those two going into the big one. All we're worried about is Buck now. You got it, Coach. Go get him. Good luck. Uh, Ross Sherman uh, representing the seniors. Uh, Ross, obviously, we'd like to be talking to you under better circumstances. But, uh, you know, talk to us a little bit about what it's like, what it's been like for four years, some real big games here at Fisher Stadium for you going out as a senior. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of great memories here. Um, it just kind of hurts to go out like this. I can tell. Uh, you know, Ross, uh, Holy Cross was just so tough against your run game today. But I think the biggest problem was getting any, gaining any kind of traction offensively because, you know, the defense was out there for so long. It seemed like forever between possessions for you guys. Yeah, I mean, they were just running the ball on, on us on defense and, uh, you know, really controlling the clock. We weren't allowing our offense to get on the field. Um, you know, it's just good game plan by them. Yeah, you know, I know that, uh, you know, you got to look forward. You can't look back. Bucknell is always a tough game. They're playing better this year, and I know it'll be important for you guys. A winning season is still within your grasp. So get the next two. Good luck in Yankee Stadium, and good luck. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. it. Manny, uh, Matty, Mo, and Phil. Back to you guys. Tough day down here at Fisher Field. Back to you guys. Yeah, it certainly was, and you kind of feel for the seniors who were so excited about it. You know, we talked a lot about Drew Reed in the open and even at halftime. Now, last year against Holy Cross, had that uh, Patriot League record of 20 straight completions. He had five touchdowns in his first career start, only had one incompletion. How do you, you know, without seeing the film and really taking time to dig into what you saw, what did you, uh, how would you assess his performance today? Well, I think he came out in the second half really nicely, um, and they did exactly what you were asking about in terms of throwing the the ball to set up the run and they came out uh, first possession scored had a couple nice drives going on and then obviously you know missing the field goal that's a big letdown because you you pretty much know it's it's game at that time um, but I, I think he had he played a good game uh, a little headsy uh, maybe looking to do a little bit too much you saw the two <laughs> laterals um, but I, I guess you can't blame him being down you know uh, the amount of points that we were down at that point. Yeah, sometimes maybe desperation gets the better hold of you there. But we'll talk more about where you go from here. But after a timeout, we're going to see what took place one final time with the highlights back up with the booth and the two men who called the game. That'll come up as we roll along on the postgame show. Keep it here, the Lafayette Sports Network. Uh, we are back as it sounded like Matt was going uh, to a break. So 
We are back here, and Mo's, uh, Mojo is going to take us uh, to the highlights, and then we'll have a finer word. Here's Mike. Yeah, well, we'll start out with a, just a couple of uh, things early. It was really Holy Cross the entire first half, and it was Peter Puyos, and it was right here, Daquan Walker. He's going to get that first score, just 11 yards, really untouched into the end zone. It was 7-0 Holy Cross. Very difficult to get them off the field. Today they ran the ball 66 times. 66 times. That is amazing. Out of 81 offensive plays that they ran, this is a long pass to Wysoric. This made it 21 to nothing. Peter Puyos had it going on. Lots Lafayette made a little comeback here at the end of the first half. A little bit of life and some good throws from Drew Reed to some receivers that went up and took the football away. Evangelist won. Uh, Morozik the next one. And then you see Dixon right here makes a nice catch over the middle. And then Lafayette's going to finish it off. A little swing pass here to Ross Sherman. Ross Sherman, you can see the, 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 uh, the real dejection in his voice. He was really upset not wanting the seniors to go out with a loss. But that was 21 to 7 at halftime. Now Lafayette got the ball. Coming out of the third quarter, and so many times I talk about back-to-back -back possessions. Well, this is one of the few times Lafayette scored on back-to-back -back possessions. A beautiful throw, a great job by Justin Adams, creating some separation against Martinez right there. A beautiful throw. You know, uh, Drew Reed ended up in the game 19 for 33. He did have two picks, but almost close to 200 yards. This Connor Fitzgerald field goal made it 24. So that's the only three points they scored in the second half. Lafayette's defense was better, but this was the interception that really ended the game. Uh, and, and that one right there by McBeath. We're going to show you a little bit of Peter Puyos. He ended up rushing the football today for 123 yards. And Gary, jump in here. You really enjoyed watching him. We knew right from the start that Puyos was going to be a factor, and he was a factor all day. Yeah, I'm not sure enjoyed is the right word. <laughs> I was kind of pained by watching him as he did a spectacular job. He was the uh, offensive rookie of the year last year in the Patriot League and uh, certainly looked like it here today. As uh, we'll go back on the road now, no more ball games this season at Fisher Stadium. So I personally want to thank the Lafayette Games staff and the Sports Information Department for their usual terrific job as we'll get some out, so we'll let some outsiders give us all the information for the next few ball games. And Mike, have a good trip next week and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And thank you. Matt and I will try to bring you a decent ball game <laughs> next Saturday at Bucknell. So back to you guys and thanks for uh, a great home season. Thank you, Gary, and the always unflappable Gary Lubbock. Even when I called for a break, errantly was still able to pick up the pieces. I mean, this guy's like the universal solvent up there. Uh, but, guys, where do you go from here? We talk about Bucknell now as the next game. You can't look ahead to the Lehigh game. There's still three more games, two before the big 150th mall. I'll start with you. You've been in these situations before. What's next? Well, right now you got to think about the Leopards. Right now we're 3-5 and five on the year. And as a senior, you got to think about what's going to be your most memorable moment probably in life when we play Lehigh at Yankee Stadium. So, really... They have three games remaining. Now you got to win out, you know, so you can at least salvage the season and have a winning record. So I, I think that's the motivation come Monday when these guys watch the film, when they get back to the practice field, you know, take it one game at a time, obviously, but we want to win these next three games. They are officially three role games, I, I would say, and uh, try and salvage the season, win at, you know, Yankee Stadium at the end, and, you know. Have can't, some fun. Can't win a Patriot League championship every year. You know, you'd yeah, love I mean, to. You, you would love to. Even <laughs> Alabama. Every once in a while you need to reload and, you know, things like this happen. Now, Phil, I mean, we talk about it from a media perspective. Well, you know, it looks like there's no chance they can win the Patriot League now. What's left to play for? But you're a player. I mean, you, you work hard. You love the game. How much does that affect your preparation, if at all? I mean, does, does it, obviously it matters. But talk about what's in your head now as you try to prepare for three more games in your senior season. Well, I think it's always in the back of your mind a little bit. But uh, when you come to a game, you prepare for that game as, as best you can. And when you're playing the game, it, you don't you don't think about it. And I think, again, as, as Mo said, you know, we, you still have the chance for a winning season. And you win out, you're six and five on the year. And if you don't, you always have the Lehigh game. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. In the biggest stage of the world, you know, the sports cathedral known as Yankee Stadium up in the Bronx, New York. Obviously, that's not news. We know about the 150th being a Yankee Stadium. Should be a great time. But two more road games before then. Guys, I know we're not going to have our set traveling anymore, so it's been a pleasure working with you Absolutely. for year two. And As well. We'll try to lobby for more time next year, right? <laughs> that's, right. that's what we're going to do. <laughs> be warned, truck. Be warned. We're coming at you. Anyway, great job again by Gary and Mike, and, of course, our head coach down in the field with all the interviews throughout the course of the day, John Leona. And uh, action again next week up at Becknell with all the action taking place for you on the Lafayette Sports Network. Until next week, for all of us, we want to thank the guys in the truck, our producers, and, of course, the cameramen, statisticians, etc. Great job as always and uh, until well next year I guess from our set here at Fisher Stadium Matt Robinson saying so long farewell enjoy the rest of your weekend and roll parts <laughs>